Hey guys, welcome back. So here's a video on how to survive Gondua. Um, I'm just gonna make this because uh, while I've been playing, I've seen a lot of questions and um, I'm just gonna give some tips on how to survive for those new players or people struggling to become an adult. So one of the things I wanna start talking about is uh, KOS and surviving KOS. Um, this is a hot topic because this is what kind of the game is all about too. Um, I always see posts on things like Reddit where people say they've given up on the game because they've been playing for two weeks um, and they can't get an, uh, they can't get a dino to an adult. Um, so hopefully, you know, I, I made a video uh, previously on how to survive it and showing, you know, what you should do starting off. But again, these are some simple tips. So again, a, a, the dino to pick is also important because you want to be able to run away or be able to fight back, right? But as a juvenile or as a little little dude, you're not gonna be able to fight back against a full grown KOSer. So you're gonna have to think about running away and hiding and playing stealth mode. Another thing to do is when you're starting off, think about your play style. Um, you could either play solo, is one of the play styles. You're gonna have to just figure out your routes and figure out how to avoid other predators. Um, going into general chat and doing a pug, pug group. But again, you know, this is one of those games where you don't know if you wanna trust people. So it's understandable that people don't really want to pug. Um, and then, you know, get with your friends or uh, with some other people and do some trophy hunting. What I've seen a lot of people do too is they get together um, and adults start killing people for their trophies and giving it to juvies to turn in. So you could do that too. Um, I haven't done it that way, but you know it it all centers around how you want to play this game because at the end of it all the end game is either two options grow helping growing other people or killing things and that's the that's the premise of the game thus far you know they're gonna add um, nesting so there could be a sense of growing your pack or your clan uh, I'm not sure how they're gonna do it um, but as of now, those are the two options once you've leveled up. And then you can do questing to gather, gather marks, but you know, you're, just, you're gonna forever collect mushrooms and flowers, you know? You, know you, you want some change in the game, right? So another basic thing to know uh, to survive in Gondua is the map and how to survive the map. So, or how to survive. Um, I'm going to show you some quick tips of the map and one of the things that I've always seen in chat is where is the water um, people think there's not a lot of water but there actually is a quite few spots of water that you can go to so depending on where you're planning a quest you got to know your water spots and importantly you got to know where your danger is with the water spots, right? Okay. So right now, um, here's the current fresh water spots. Uh, as you can see the light blue and I'm going to show you some danger areas, right? So everyone probably knows these danger areas right here. Um, we got, the uh, this hunter's thicket area right here but it's it's actually this water spot right here where this fresh area is near this home cave um a lot of people like to just camp out here for the fresh water and then quest over here um and this is a spot that you know anywhere with water you'll get dangers of sarcos right um so this is a high uh, danger area I feel savannas too it's a wide open area um, 
Impact Crater, Green Plains, Green Valley, and Big Quill Lake. So these are the, the I feel, high danger area. And then this is kind of like the, um, you'll get some traffic in there, but it's not too dangerous. You know, you'll run into some people, but you won't find some of the big apex, you know? So I've also added what kind of apex you'll see in those areas, you know? So T-Rexes, you'll see them around these areas just because they're big, wide open areas. You know, I'm not sure over here though, uh, I just added it there because this area over here is quite large, uh, Big Quill Lake, um, to just patrol around the water area. So you'll see some big uh, apexes like T-Rexes and uh, uh, Spinosaurus, especially because of the water. Um, Eotrikes, um, I'm going to say mainly in these areas. I don't think they're in Impact Crater a lot unless they're with a big crowd because there's nowhere to run and hide, you know? They wanna back themselves up against usually um, a wall or a rock and T-Rexes um, will be able to chase them down here. And I think there's like two rocks here that they could probably hide behind, but I've always seen them in these areas, you know? all the Pretty much all the big apex predators are in these main areas because um, they're pretty wide and they're, and they're a good place to chase people. Um, I'm gonna use an Albert as medium size. Um, you'll see them in a lot of zones where uh, babies are because they're just killing juvies, you know. They could be anywhere from an Albert or um, an Aloe or any other mid-size carnivores. Um, they'll be over here running around in the Grand Plains and Grand Valley, um, hanging out with other apex predators. And then um, sometimes they're in uh, Impact Crater. Impact Crater is pretty much the deathmatch area. And then um, you just gotta be careful also with the water. So these are the water spots. You know, It's pretty straightforward. It's where all the big water and freshwater areas are. So that's um, where you'll see like sarcos and spinosauruses. So again, you know, just take a look at the danger zones and um, you could probably plan your trip on where to quest. You'll see that there's a lot of other areas here that are open that I didn't really mark. Um, the thing is other people are probably going to be questing in these other light zones you know i've also actually added foot traffic area this is what i think um the foot traffic is so if you want to avoid meeting people on routes um, of your quest routes i would suggest to avoid some of these foot traffic areas high foot traffic areas and go a different route right so from here a lot of people I've seen come over here, go to this watering hole into the savannas, quest around savannas, walk down here into the hot springs, or they go down over this bridge and then they want to cross this bridge that goes into impact crater. They'll either hook a left over here or they'll, some people go through the forest to the right side and up above impact crater and go around or they take this long route to go for water on this side. And then this is where they all just kind of like, if they spot something that they wanna kill, they'll go in there and kill. Um, on this side, if they wanna go down, they usually come down here or they could like jump rocks and come down here and go into the water. But I've seen a lot of people go down this way. Um, and then obviously down here, this is like the noob zone. Just stay away from this water because a lot of the um, hatchlings come over here to get this um, waypoint or oh, WC, I forgot what it's called. I'm blanking out right now, but they get that over here. So a lot of people like to camp over here and kill hatchlings. Um, this area is really thick. 
and it's really hard for the big guys to maneuver around so i don't really see a lot of foot traffic here you'll see a lot of the smaller ones or medium sized guys questing here and over here again a lot of the bigger guys they tend to stay away from compact areas because they won't be able to run and maneuver um so a lot of things that i've seen people do is like walk this way or walk this way up around to big quill lake and then come down this way if they want to go to um, Green Valley. And a lot of people like to hang out here. It's not really cool to uh, hang out over here for Green Valley. So people walk around on this path. And this is generally where you'll see and encounter people. So again, if you want to survive, let me put up these dangers. Um, just keep in mind these areas and then for water just plan out where you want to get your water um and then quest in a, a good location you know you could get like plan four locations out and then make sure you plant near the water like for me i go from dustless pass over here i come down here to the marsh and then I go back up to Desolate's Pass, get some quests there, go to um, Hot Springs to get water. And then I kind of quest on the edge of the savanna over here near these rocks. So that I can run back to the water and across the water or just run away and go over this bridge. And this is my little questing zone. Um, Again, I haven't really tried any of these areas. Maybe I, I should. But the thing about this area that I like is there's this, the home cave is really close to uh, my questing zones. Again, uh, actually I have a video of my questing route. If you guys want to check on it again, um, you could see how easy it is and how simple a one whole rotation is for me on this. But again, you know, I've been with groups that said that they've done quest routes over over here which is good and in the green valley which is good which i i would agree but i feel like that's a high traffic area this water area just because there's so much fresh water that a lot of people are going to be questing there um yeah so again you know there's not really much you could do to avoid um uh, like there's nothing People aren't gonna just stop KOSing for some reason. You know, this game's just gonna. This is one of those these games where it's built. It's part of it. You know, it's it's surviving um, to get to an adult. That's the end game. And then as you do it, you know, you're PVP. Um, and people sometimes are just bored. Some people are just trolling. But it's part of the game. And half the game, I always say, is a uh, stealth game where you're just uh, running away or hiding. Um, it's also uh, a social game because you could go the route of joining groups, um, partying up together to defend each other and then help each other that way. Um, or yeah, or link up with your friends and do some type of uh, like a gimmick where everyone is Megs or everyone is um, a fast dino, you know, and play that way. You know, it's all different play styles. So coming into the game, you kind of just have to know what your place on, what you want to do. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's maybe not for everyone, right? At this state, you know, maybe people just want to deathmatch or just automatically become an adult and fight. And that's some, uh, some features that they're going to plan to put into the game. But as of now, you know, if you want to stay in Gondwa and survive, just make sure you know these areas, make sure you know the map and then get a feel for it. And um, hopefully, you know, you could get those adults. So, yeah. So if you have any questions or any other tips, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I'll try to get to them and hopefully, you know, other people could answer questions. But for the most part, you know, I've leveled up a bunch of adults two bars. Um, I know a lot of people I've, I've read that people were concerned about raising up bars is a hard. I'm like, you know, I, I done it. It was pretty simple. Um, and uh yeah so let me know what you guys think um hit like and subscribe it'll help me out leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching